Stethoscopes are used for a variety of reasons, and this, these reasons are specifically healthcare related. Um, the stethoscopes are used to assess lung sounds, bowel sounds, heart sounds, so it is very important for a healthcare professional to understand how to properly use a stethoscope. My name is Ian Vasquez Renteria. I am a nursing student at Clarkson College and I've been working in healthcare for about four years now as a CNA for two of those years. So I've used the stethoscope quite frequently and it is very important for healthcare professionals like CNAs, nurses, and um, healthcare providers like doctors and medical students to really understand how to use this to properly assess a patient, which would ultimately help diagnose a patient. So today we'll be learning how to use a stethoscope. And first and foremost, you're gonna wanna make sure that with an alcohol swab or an alcohol wipe, you clean your diaphragm and the bell of your stethoscope before putting it on a patient. Or in this case, I'm gonna use a little helper my pug, Nymeria. And we're back. I'm here with my three-year-old pug, Nymeria. She is so obedient. And we are going to learn how to properly use um, a stethoscope for auscultating purposes. So again, you're gonna wanna know what the diaphragm, which is the larger side of the stethoscope, is used for. It is used to um, auscultate higher frequency pitches. And then we're gonna use the bell for lower frequency pitches. So um, usually the diaphragm is what is most regularly used and the bell is used here and there. So to properly auscultate, you're gonna wanna make sure the earbuds of the stethoscope are actually facing away from you. That is the right way to put them in the ear and um, it'll avo you'll avoid making mistakes and not hearing proper, proper sounds. So we're gonna go ahead and put them in our ear facing away from you. And then another important step is making sure that when you're auscultating, you're doing it directly on the skin. In this case, Nymeria does not have any clothes on, so we won't worry about that. But with the patient, you're gonna to wanna to make sure it's on the skin because any movement of clothes, any friction, any shuffling can give you um, inappropriate or um, faulty um, sounds which can lead to misdiagnosis. So when you do this, you're just going to auscultate the specific area um, that you're listening to, whether it be the back, the abdomen, the lung sounds, heart, for at least 60 seconds and you'll just apply it directly on the area. You'll just make your assessment, you'll listen. When you're finished, you're going to want to make sure once again you clean um, your stethoscope, both bell and diaphragm and your ear area with an alcohol wipe or an alcohol swab and you're done. You'll just chart your findings or report your findings to the specific person and that is how you use a stethoscope. Thank you guys so much.